Hey guys, Juicy Bite here, back for another episode of Delicious Emily's Christmas Carol. Last time, Paige had her practice recital, and it didn't go so well. Yeah, and she was pretty upset about it and refusing to go back to preschool. Meanwhile, we have Emily's mom being really, really, really strange about Santa, the play, and the train. She's finally agreed to go on the train because Paige has asked her so much. So let's see what's happening next. So we're now in chapter two, which is George's train station. So instead of being in Emily's backyard, we're going to be in a completely new location. So let's see what's happening. Welcome and Merry Christmas. I'm George. Can I get you anything? Actually, we're just wondering if this is the right place to catch the Miracle Express. Ho ho ho, you bet it is. Though she is a bit late, which is highly unusual for her. The train will take us to see Santa, correct? Oh, of course. Though you know, this is a magic train, so everyone finds their own destination. Destination? Something like that. And that is if the train leaves at all. Oh, why wouldn't the train leave? While we're waiting for the train to arrive, I thought I might as well help you out today. Oh, that would be wonderful. So, as you can see, we're now in a new location and Emily being Emily can't just sit and wait. She has to help people out. So, let's play the chapter. We have to serve two ecstatic customers of each customer type. So, they need to be really happy when we're done with them. There we go. That's the first one. And that's our next set. And that's our third. And don't forget, guys, we have to keep our eyes open for that clever little mouse. There he is. One more customer, and we just reached the one star. There we go, and we unlocked candy canes. That's our second star. Thank you. 
three stars reached. With a last minute combo. So there's our three stars, the challenge and the mouse. It's Mary again, everyone. Whew, what a big station. So many shops. Don't worry, everybody. I'm sure the train will arrive soon. Woo, woo, all aboard the Angel Express. I think he's sleeping, guys. Hi, I remember you. Well, there you are again, little angel. Meeting the same angel twice. I'm sure it's a sign. Woo woo! Well, I hate to say it, but maybe the train broke down. Paige would be so disappointed. Don't worry, dear. We can always go back to Snuggleford. Right, and we have a new challenge. Customers are going to enter in a bad mood. Oh dear, that's going to make our life a little bit harder. And look guys, we have a whole lot of new things to unlock. So let's see what they do. These increase the points you earn for every combo you do. The lights help you earn more points for quick bonuses. The spray means George cleans faster. You can get carolers to help improve table mood. You can get a drink to help Emily walk faster for 10 seconds. Can be used three times in each level. You can add a Christmas message to the blinds. These lamps will make customers sitting at the tables more patient. And having somewhere to throw their garbage always gives customers at the counter more patience. So we're definitely going to go with these lights because we do a lot of quick bonuses. And we're going to buy the lamps for the table patients. And we'll buy the cleaner so that the cleaning happens faster. And let's go play. So, we unlocked candy canes. We're going to use them. So remember, customers are entering in a bad mood. And because this is a challenge, there are no mice. So, when customers enter in a bad mood, that means they're really upset to begin with. And you have to serve them fairly quickly compared to normal that will sometimes help them get their hearts up. Not always, but sometimes. Oh dear, <laughs> we almost lost his heart. I wonder who this guy is sitting on the bench. Though, I don't blame him for sleeping while waiting on the train.
not doing too bad guys we're just managing to squeak by with everyone being happier when they came in but can we keep it up that's the real question There we go, we unlocked a new magazine called Deco Tree. And that's the challenge complete. But let's see if we can keep it up. We've only two customers left, surely we can have them leave happier than when they came in. Yes, we did. Challenge complete. Okay, let's move on to the next level. Okay, so since we splurged on everything before the challenge, we have nothing to unlock. Because remember, you don't earn coins during a challenge level. Only gems to buy invites. It's here! It's here! The miracle train is here! Oh, well, the guy's still asleep. No, sweetie. That's just another passenger train. When's it gonna come, daddy? Shouldn't they make an announcement or something? It's all very strange. I tried calling the number. But there was no answer. Don't you worry, the Miracle Express will be here. You have my word. Well, I guess now we know why it's called the Miracle Express. It's a miracle if it actually shows up. Excuse me, miss. Have we met before? Um, not that I recall... Strange, I could have sworn. Right, so we're going to use the new magazine. And continue our play. So, let's stack it. And we got some new items. So, we're going to take the cup. We're going to fill it up. It's here, it's here, it's the miracle. No, it's just another train. Oh no, our cup overflowed while we talked to Paige. There we go, so that's how it works. We fill up the cup. So we basically have to keep telling her that it's not the right train. Wow, she's certainly hurting our profits, guys. Making it really difficult. But we only have to do it one more time. One star reached. Oh, we should be looking for the mouse, guys. I've completely forgot about him. 
I bet you've seen them. Two stars reached. That is certainly one tricky little mouse. There he is! We almost didn't find him, guys. We unlocked Cookie Mix. So three stars, the challenge, and the mouse. Paige, Emily, let's go see the trains. And he's still sleeping. Mary, Mary, did you know we're going to go see Santa? Really? What a coincidence. Me too. Really? I sure am. I just hope my husband isn't too tired when we arrive. He has to work really hard, you know. Hmm. Right? Level 13. So, we managed to get a little bit of money, but I'm going to hold out for the trash can. So we can make the customers at the counter a bit more patient. Now do we have enough? Well, that ought to do it. It could use some magic sprinkles, though. Aren't you a bit, er, uh, mature to be making cookies for Santa? Of course not! You're never too old to believe in magic. Now let's go find some of those sprinkles. Such a lovely old lady. She's very sweet to play along with Paige like that. So we're going to use the new cookie mix. And we have some new items here. Looks like some drinks. So let's stock up our magazines. And can we stock up some more drinks? Nope, that's it. So, we have to get six quick bonuses this time, guys. Shouldn't be too hard for us, because that's how we've been playing up until now. There's our mouse. Just two more quicks to get. One more. And there we go.
One star reached. Second star reached. Not too bad, and we still have 15 on the clock. Just shy of that third star. And there we go. And we unlocked a new item. So three stars, the challenge, and the mouse. What are you doing? I'm checking the miracle clock. It's a special clock that keeps track of the comings and goings of the Miracle Express. Is it broken? I don't think so. This clock was here even before I opened my restaurant. And it's accurately predicted the arrival of the Miracle Express ever since. Does it make a choo-choo sound too? Oh, just you wait. It brings more joy to families than any sound in the whole world. Make me wish it would be Christmas every day. All the more reason we should go home. Something really bad must have happened for it to be so late. Okay guys, we have another challenge. Let's check it out. So this time, in the challenge, only tips count towards your score. So, let's get our trash can. That we can now afford. And let's go check out our menu. Okay. So we got our new drinks. But because only tips count. Let's see. So we want items to have the little dollar sign next to them. So we want that. Of the drinks. Mm, we don't have that option. So we'll stick with what we've got. In the magazines. Again, we don't have that option. These at least give us a bonus. And for the drinks, we don't have that option. So we have the best items on the menu that we can at this point in time. Let's see how we do. So that wasn't too bad. It's a combination of our quick time and full orders that we're giving people. If we can keep that up, we just might make it.
We've got a helper to help clean tables. Wasn't expecting that. Looks like we passed the halfway mark. Oh, and there's the trash can we bought, guys. So we have the lights around the window. That trash can. And the lights on the table. Fingers crossed, it might be close, it might not. We'll have to wait and see. Nearly, guys. Nearly. And we made it with two extra customers. We completed that challenge. On to level 14. Okay, so we can't buy anything because we bought it before the last one. Le What's in the box? It's a secret present for my husband. I have a secret too. I made a wish on a falling star. Well, whatever you do, don't tell anyone what you wished for. Else, it might not come true. Okay guys, we're using our new drink and we're heading in. This time, we can only use two slots on our tray and we have a new food item. Looks like pancakes. Looks like we have someone to help us clean the tables, guys. Isn't that nice? Now remember, we can only put two items on our tray to meet the challenge, so we have to split this order up.
And there's our sneaky mouse, guys. One star reached. And we unlocked a new drink. Almost at three stars. Now remember, we have to split this order in half because we can't carry more than two items. There we go. Three stars. And with some customers to spare. So we got three stars, the challenge and the mouse. Miss Mary, remember? Call me Mary. When I see Santa, I need him to make my wish come true with magic sprinkles. Oh, he gave you some magic sprinkles now, did he? He must have really liked you then. He doesn't share those very often. <gasps> you know about the magic sprinkles? Oh, the guy is partially awake. Of course, it's how I met the love of my life. <laughs> the guy's still sleeping. Quiet now, sweetheart. We don't want to wake him up. And now we have level 15. Okay, so we have enough money to buy something else. So let's buy... The window blinds. There we go. This is ridiculous, Edward. We should all go back to Snuggleford now. Before we end up celebrating Christmas, God knows where. Have faith, Evelyn, the train will come. Evelyn, you say? Hmm. I'm still sure I met your wife before. I think you would have remembered, George. So, we have our new drink, and we have some new cookies. So, this time the challenge is not to run out of stock. We'll have to keep an eye on those drinks then, won't we? And remember, keep your eyes open for that clever little mouse. He could be hiding anywhere.
There he is, under the clock. And we've just reached our first star. I don't know about you, but that looked like I just tossed the butter onto the floor. Two stars reached. So between those guys, they all wanted a plate full of each of the three cookies we have on sale. So we have all three stars, the challenge and the mouse. I suppose it'll be left up to me to break the news to Paige that this Christmas train isn't coming, won't it? Come on, Evelyn. You still believe in Christmas miracles, don't you? Of course I don't. I'm an adult. Well, I'm an adult too, and I believe in Christmas magic. Well, good for you. Unfortunately, the rest of us live in the real world. Where we don't celebrate Christmas by waiting for a stupid train that's never going to come. You see, George? You would have remembered. Okay guys, that is the end of this episode for Delicious Emily's Christmas Carol. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. Juicy Bite, out.